Hello everybody, welcome back to more interactive math journey without Reader Rabbit, even though his name is on the game for some reason. So I'm really pumped for this episode because we're going to world four. Fraction world now. Fractions are one of those mathematical uh, concepts that a lot of people might struggle with, but I'm here to tell you this is quite possibly the greatest world in any video game ever. Because we are going to Fraction Land, which is in Italy. We're off to the land of Pizza Fractions! <laughs> pizza Fractions. And Pac-Man is here, apparently. Mm, I smell something cooking! Wonder what's cooking with those cats. Well, only a tail will tell. Let's check out their story. Oh yeah, we're in Italy. And what better way to learn about fractions than with pizza? I mean, come on, what better way to learn math than with food in general? You can click on me if you want I to know, Tally, to you, you just or be quiet. I'm I'm narrating this activity. let's play, all Keep right? clicking on the pop spots until you've collected all the stars. I will. I'll get there. Just be patient. What are you guys What are you cool cats up to? I'm so hungry. Me, 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 too. So this world is the best because A, it's in Italy, B, it's filled with food, C, it's filled with cats. That is literally the perfect combination. Let's see what this math song is all about. It's late at night and in the street, we cats all on the problem. Scratching, sniffing, and exploring everything we see. Suddenly we stop because we hear a great big growl. Is it a dog? No, it's my stomach. I'm hungry. All at once we all let out a cry. Meow, 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 meow. For our favorite food, pizza soy. Because we love pepperoni, mozzarella, ham, and provolone. No ricotta, what's a mozzarella? Hey, I want bologna. Boom. Best song in the game. <laughs> so if you're wondering what the heck pr like fractions can be used in the practical world, you need fractions to help you eat pizza. So I mean, that alone should encourage you to learn how to do fractions. So let's start the storybook, shall we? Here are Francesca and Federico <laughs> Cat looking for pizza pie. There's a no food here. To help us find pizza, click on the page arrow. Well, there's a lot going on. Okay, first off, Francesca and Federico Cat are like the two most Italian names ever. They're like, there's no food here. You're in a farmer's market. There's food everywhere. What you talking about? <laughs> All right, well, I guess we have to go to the next page. First, they find a juicy slice of melon and decide to share it. Feed us equal shares of melon. Two halves, two over two. Make sure we each get a piece of prosciutto. Is that like a thing in Italy? Like cantaloupe with prosciutto? I feel like those two would not go together at all. That seems very, very strange to me as an American, but... <laughs> Alright, they're like, Oh, I know we were right next to the pizza parlor, but we have to wander through the farmer's market first, because, uh, <laughs> these are the appetizers, don't you know? I don't know about you, but this is the world that cemented me my love for math, because math and food are two of my biggest passions. Like, come on. Yeah, so we're learning about fractions. So, number on the top. 
how many we they want, that number at the bottom, how many they have in all. So there's two pieces and two cats. They each need one over two. Get. There you go. One half. One over two. <laughs> actually, actually, bro, you can eat the whole thing. Thanks, but I've already had my share. Well, that was nice of him. Now we have to give one to each. No thanks, but my friend is hungry. Zero part. <laughs> it's all gone. No thanks. But my friend is hungry. You did it. That was not okay. That was not what she was supposed to say. <laughs> I must have messed something up. Oh well. We're going to the next page. Arrivederci. <laughs> Fabio joins the two cats oh on their gosh. pie serve. Look, a tart with six strawberries. He declares with delight. Be us equal shares of the tart. Make sure. Everyone gets the same number of strawberries. Three thirds. Three over three. <laughs> wow, now we have Fabio the cat. These are literally the most Italian cats ever. How could you not love this world? Good food, good math, good cats. Great accents and an awesome setting. That's, the food looks great. Like, come on. Tart with strawberries? I'm, I'm already getting hungry. I should have eaten before I, uh, before I played this. All right, you get a piece. Two thirds. Two over three. We fed her a third. We have two thirds left. Make sure everyone gets the same number of strawberries. What if we put four strawberries on this piece? Would that mean that it's twice as big as this one? Nope. Help us eat equal shells of the strawberry tar. I guess Fabio is mute. One third. What? One, well, he can't three. be mute because he declared about. He was the one who found the tart. Zero part. It's all gone. Mm, good. You <laughs> did it. <laughs> so, yeah, this world we follow musically gifted Italian opera singer cats on their quest to eat pizza, but then they get easily distracted by all the other delicious food that's in Italy. <laughs> Ciao. Felicia is on her way to the pizza parlor. When she runs into her hungry friends, want to come along, she asks. Sure, they cry out. But first, let's share this piece of lasagna, says Francesca. <laughs> Feed us equal shares of lasagna. Wow, we each get the three olives. Four, okay, four, that lasagna four, looked like it was four. made in... Microsoft Paint. Like, even I can make lasagna that looks like that. But as a kid, I remember this smoking really did look delicious. Wow, so we got Francesca, Federico, Fabio, and Felicia. These, these are all very Italian names that start with the letter F. This is amazing. <laughs> I, I just remember as a kid being like, wow, this is what Italy looks like. Wow, they, could, they have the pizza parlor right next door. And like this farmer's market. This is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Felicia's just like, oh yeah, I was going to the pizza parlor. Oh, duh, I'm the pizza parlor. That's where the pizza is. Yep. Yum. Eat, eat the lasagna. One fourth. <laughs> oh, whoops. Zero part. It's all gone. Yummy. Good the job. Thanks. <laughs> so, with Felicia leading the way. The cats are finally off to find what they were looking for all along. Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, pizza's at the pizza bar. I just like the idea of Felicia leaving her house like, oh, hey, like I was just, you know, off to the pizza bar. You guys are welcome to come along. It's like, oh, great. By the way, I'm happy to be carrying this giant lasagna. What? Share it. It's like, wait, what? you just made lasagna and you were carrying it to the pizza parlor? Well, yeah, I wanted to eat it along the way. <laughs> the, the entire lasagna? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the cats are pretty fat, but still. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Thanks, Gus. <laughs> it's under control. <laughs> All right. Well, the cats just ate like a full course meal, but now they're actually getting ready for their real dinner. Pizza. My pizza pie. Pizza pie. <laughs> Buongiorno! Welcome to this fine pizzeria. Use these pizza cutters to cut the pizza, and then give an equal amount of pizza to each cat. Bon appetito! 
I love that Italian song that they were playing at the, at the beginning. Oh, see, oh, see, oh. That was absolutely amazing. All right, we got to feed five different sets of cats. Wow, look at all the options we have. Just this one pizza cutter. All right, slice. <laughs> that pizza also looks like it was made in MS Paint, but that's okay. It still looks good. All right, so this is a little where things get a little trickier. Instead of having getting equal pieces to the number of cats... Now we've got six pieces and three cats. Serve the cats equal amounts of pizza. All right, well, we know that they at least each get one piece, right? So this is now, we've cut them in six pieces. So one six goes to this cat, we have five six left. One goes to this, we have four six left. Now we have three six. So each cat can get two slices of pizza. And I guess this is kind of where division comes into play. Because six pieces of pizza divided by... Three cats equals two pieces of pizza. Meaning, if you divide the pizza evenly among the three cats, they each get two pieces. Thanks. 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 Enjoy. Pizza. The pizza pieces show how many times you fed the cats. Collect five pizza pieces to earn a star. Click on the pizza piece to feed the cats again. I would love to feed the cats again, but I'm getting... Ooh. Now we've got new cats. All right, so this, oh, this is interesting. So now we have two different pizza cutters. This one will cut a pizza in half. This will cut it into quarters. So there are actually two different solutions to this puzzle. Uh, we could cut both pizzas in half and give each cat half a pizza, or we could cut each pizza into quarters and give each cat two quarters. Your choice. I think bigger is better. Blam. Can we cut it again? Nope. Here's half a pizza. <laughs> I can't- can I get a cut into smaller pieces? No. <laughs> Imagine going to a pizza parlor and literally just- like, right, here's a piece of pizza. Half a pizza. <laughs> Thanks. 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 Thank. Thank. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. I need a nap. <laughs> a pizza piece to feed the cats again. <laughs> Oh man, this world's even better than I remember. <laughs> They're all entering their carb comas. Oh, I need a nap. Okay. Still four cats, three pizzas, and now two different cutters. That one cuts it into quarters, that cuts it into eighths. Let's go fancy. So at this point, we now have eight times three, 24 pieces of pizza with four cats. 24 divided by 4, for those of you who don't know, is 6. Each cat gets 6 pieces of pizza. That's Each cat almost gets their own pizza. What if we try giving him extra? Oh, you actually can! <laughs> Place a pizza slice onto one of the foot. I did. Let's give him an extra one. Uh oh, that doesn't look even. I've got too much. I've got too much. Please stop feeding me. I I wouldn't be complaining about that. All right. I've got well, too much. You've got too much. I know. There you go. Thanks. 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 <laughs> you eat that pizza, cats. You eat that pizza. I'm so full. Each cat almost pizza ate their own pizza. The That's impressive. Again. And this is after they ate <laughs> prosciutto melon, <laughs> a tart, and lasagna. And Italian food is rich, man. <laughs> it fills you up fast. All right, still four cats, still free pizzas. All right. If we cut it, uh, that would make six. So we actually can't cut the pizzas in half. If we do that, we won't be able to have an even amount. So we're going to have to cut it into eighths. Actually, maybe we... Oh, whoops. You guys get half a pizza plus individual pieces. This, this pizzeria is uh, a little lackluster in terms of service. Each people, uh, different people get different 
amount, different size slices. Thanks. 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 <laughs> Thank. <laughs> Except each cat can eat the pizza slices no matter how big at the same time. I'm so full. Click on the pizza piece. This is a really fun game, though, and it definitely, like, because each puzzle has different ways to solve it, you can really, like, you can play this a lot and just kind of get a good grasp on how to use fractions. It's great. Alrighty. Boom. We'll quarter each pizza, each cat. It's three quarters of a pizza. There you go. Thanks. 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 Thank. Thank. Enjoy your pizza. Meow, meow, meow. I need a nap. You're the brightest. Thanks, but stop smiling at me in that creepy way. Click on exit if you need a rest. Or keep clicking on the pizza pieces to choose your own game. Uh, do they say anything? Meow, 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 meow. They have great voices. Figaro, 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 Figaro. Figaro, 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 Figaro. Figaro. So are you cats gonna, you know, like, pay for that? The, the pizzeria ain't pro bono. We gotta make a profit if we wanna keep making pizza. So, um... We accept cash, checks, and debit and credit cards. You can choose your payment. They walk off. Stupid cats. <laughs> the dogs pay. Wowie! We made pizza for cats! <laughs> yes. Yowie! That math souvenir may help us find the math magician. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, those cats, it was the same cats at every single table. So each cat ate like three or four pizzas that by themselves. The that's magician. that's Go not on. healthy at all. And those pizzas were not small. Like they were the same size as a person. So, wow. Yeah, <laughs> those cats are going to be sick for a while. But now we get our own the pizza to take with us. And unfortunately, this is going to take us immediately to the next world, which I don't even remember what it is. Yeah, I don't remember this world at all. Well, we'll figure out what the world is next time on Reader Rabbit's Interactive Math Journey now with 100% less Reader Rabbit. Next world, world five, we're dealing with multiplication. And then at that point, we'll be halfway through the game. And then we'll basically go through each of the basic concepts once more. We got four souvenirs. We've got an ugly patchwork quilt, a bundle of sugar canes, a tree, and now a partially eaten pizza. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to give you the whole thing, but I got hungry. It's like you, you literally just ate four pizzas by yourself. I was still hungry, because I did not order dessert. Well, yeah, that's that's my favorite world of the game. <laughs> Cats, it Italian sceners, and pizza. Like, how could you not... If there's one way to make kids like math, especially fractions, which are notoriously difficult when you're young, it's to give, bring them a correlation like, wait, but math is pizza. Oh, okay, now it's great. Anyhow... I, at this point, the only world that I remember in the game is World 9, which is the other fraction world, which is also one of the best worlds. We'll get to that, that uh, in a later episode, though. So thanks for watching. Hope you tune in next time. When, at this point, the blind Let's Play basically officially begins. Look forward to that until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.